coach Mike McConaughey after tonight's game against Lamar. And the Cardinals just a tough matchup for the Demons, and particularly when they shoot like they did and the Demons shoot like they did in the first half. Well, there's no doubt. Coach Tick Price did a fabulous job with his team. His guys came and they played extremely hard. They are a tough matchup physically for us. But at the same time, you know, you can't worry about matchups. You got to go out and do the job we did in the first half. They just came out and just torched us, shooting, making threes. Uh, everything that they did was positive. It was a pretty close game there for uh, a few moments, and they blow it up to 20 points. In the second half, we come out, cut it to three, uh, down, actually scored seven, but really hustling by Sabri Thompson. He did an unbelievable job trying to will his team to play and to do things, cut it to 13. And then from there, the last 17 and a half, we got back in the same situation to where they miss a shot, we don't get a rebound, they put it in. We get beat on the boards by nine. We only have 13 turnovers, which, you know, we only had nine on Saturday at, at Nichols. But, um, you know, they only had 11 points uh, on, on points off of turnovers, but they had 12 second chance points, which is the difference in the ball game. Even as poorly as we played, if you don't get those 12 points, off of offense rebounds or second chance points, you you have a chance to do something in the game, and I thought that that we found some some things that we tried to play hard and do it, but they just they wanted it more than we did the first half. It was quite obvious, and the second half, um, you know, we came to play. But you know, when you dig yourself a hole of 20 points, it's really difficult to do anything. You said uh, that Zeke Woodley's return was uh, certainly a beneficial thing for the Demons, but also tough for your team to adjust to getting a new guy in the rotation a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I mean, and think about it really and truly, he only has done something with us a day and a half, if you want to say that, because really and truly yesterday was light. Monday, uh, Monday he got to start practice and did some things. So hopefully by the time we get here on uh, on uh, Saturday to play the University of New Orleans league leading uh, team that we will be much better prepared to do the things that we need to do to be successful. Um, you know, I, I do think that uh, we did – gather ourselves and found found some some things in the second half that were much better but i really am confused about why midweek games have been a bad thing for us especially at home we're one in six in conference that just doesn't happen here in Prather Coliseum. And that's very, very hard for me to deal with and hard for me to understand. We've got to try to see how we can get that thing broken on Saturday and make something happen. Going back to Zeke for a moment, his performance was Zeke. And particularly defensively, I thought he was extraordinarily good coming back after two months off. I, I thought he did a good job. He was four for eight from the floor. He was, uh, so that means he was, uh, you can help me a little bit with the math, but I mean, we end up just missing one free throw. Uh, he had two rebounds. I thought that he was active, stayed in front of his man, had one really nice big, big rebound there, and did a good job. So I was pleased with the things that he did, but there again, it's a big adjustment. You've been out for two months and you come in, and it's just not like that you had two weeks of practice to step in, and you only had a day and a half. I would like to mention that Ishmael Lane had, was one rebound away from double double, continues to really improve and get better. He's somebody that we're really going to be dependent on to continue to improve. Hopefully Saturday he can have a big game in Saturday because Saturdays have been great days for Ishmael Lane.